Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, pop-ups that we did the last time, the food pop-ups, they're all done, jarred up. Um, so we got total, I'd say almost three jars of pop-ups out of that. Um, of that mix, just a one egg mix. So gives you a bit of an idea of how many baits you're going to get yourself if you uh, want to do a one egg mix. And obviously it just shows you you could probably divide it in two and do um, half as wafters and half as pop-ups. Anyway, so they're done. Now a couple of questions that will be popping up. First of all is eggs. Um, somebody was asking about um, using like liquid egg. Now I, I looked at this because you can buy it in sort of like collapsible plastic containers and stuff. Um, and you can buy it like by weight, which is like 10... 10 litres or 10 kilo, something like that, and it's about 22 25 quid, depending where you get them from. Um, well, I use all these eggs, that's them there, and they're uh, the large eggs. I mean, I live quite close to an Aldi, so it doesn't bother me because sometimes I go in and I just pick up a full box, like box of eggs, and walk out with them. Not walk out with them, but I do go and pay for them. Um, but obviously, this time of year, I'm just messing on getting some hook baits and stuff made. I just obviously buy 10, nice and cool, outside in the old workshop. But they are a large egg, really large as well, I think. Um, some of them are massive. You know, you can probably get about 60 mil out of one egg. So they're, they're about, I think price-wise, they're just under a pound. And I think it does change because eggs can be a bit seasonal. I know like one time, during the year I think they shed the feathers and they don't lay that many so I think that's when the price creeps up a little bit um, but obviously in full season I think you can get them for 80 odd pence but um, like I say that's all I use I've never had a problem with them um, obviously if you've got a local supplier you can get um, I did contact one person about doing this, some sort of set, you know reject eggs um, but by the time I was going to go and collect them, it's just not worth doing it. So I just tend to stick with that. So that's eggs. So anyway, in this video, what we are going to look at is we're going to look at hardening hook baits. So just taking a standard boiling mix and hardening it. So basically there's three products um, which are capable of doing this, in my opinion. All these videos are just my opinion and how I do things. Um, the first one I'd like to mention is blood plasma, so you need to be careful with this because it is blood plasma and not um, blood meal, so it's sort of like a white, um, it's not quite as fine as, um, I don't know how well you can pick that up, it is grainy but it's not sort of like sand sized grains, it's not really a flower. Um, now I have been using a lot of this in the bait I was making for myself last year because um, I felt it wasn't hard enough to go out in the stick um, so I was putting some of that in it in the mix just to um, and I mean something like 30 grams a kilo um, I think that's something that I was using um, but like I say be careful so blood plasma because the thing with that is it's sort of second cheapest one I just went on CC more, I just get some prices of these things. So um, that on the CC more site that is $8.49 for a kilo. So I do use that one. Obviously, you've got the normal, which is probably a favourite of most people, is egg albanon. And that is a really fine powder. Um, basically it's it's powdered egg white, that's all it is. Um, and obviously again used for making a hardened bait or harder bait and putting the skin on it and obviously acting as a bit of a binder. Um, now that one for some reason is the most expensive. That is $13.99 on um, the CC Moa website. Obviously I would shop on all of them and have a look. See which one's the cheapest. And the last one, which is the one we're going to use today, and it's on the lid because mine's went a bit hard and I tend to have to like put it through a sieve because it's got, got a bit damp and that and that's way gel um, and obviously this is for me what you want to be using to make a hardened hook bait and that's what we're on about we're on about a hook bait that's really all sealed up um, 
you know, if you're going to be looking to stock, or not stock craze, but limit craze. Um, I know the only place you really see them um, on YouTube would be when the guys go to um, Rainbow in France. Um, you'll see that I think a lot of them over there are using sort of like a big um, you know two hardened hook baits on those bollocks rigs or you know a big dumbbell um, it's just so they know they can put them out for two three days um, and they know they're going to sit there and not be a problem um, so we're going to get on with that now and I'll show you how we go about it right so let's get started so obviously I've got some copy liquids in there uh, double the recommended dose for for that base mix because they don't taste it uh, sorry they don't actually eat it and one egg so Very important now we're gonna weigh that. Now I do already know right happy with that. Right so all I'm gonna use now is one egg is five grams of whey gel. And that goes in first. Now, if you've never used this stuff before, um, now because mine has went rock hard, obviously it's a little bit lumpy. So I do have the right amount, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a bit back because I want to sort of make this into a paste to really flatten them lumps out. So just while that's really sloppy, I'm just giving it a good, a good mix. Just to get rid of all those lumps. Um, what I've done is I've got my little roll track out. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little gardener table. This is an 18mm. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, I know from previous rolls, I've got my 18mm table and what I'm going to do is, we're actually going to make two sizes, so I'm going to make some round boilies, so I know roughly that One length of that will give me, and I'll show you because what you can do is you can just use this to cut. So, one, two, three. Wow, what a guess! <laughs> Not even half a pea's worth. So, now what I can do is I'll squish them in there. Something to put them on. We are two, four, six, eight. So that's going to give us 24 round hook baits. So they're 18 mil. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap over to this nozzle. And this is 11.8. So now we'll produce some barrels. Got a bit, 
carried away their tooth joined up so they've produced a nice barrel try and put that on the back of there Right, we need to clean the nozzle out and then that will get us the rest of our paste. It's amazing what's left in the nozzle. Right, so we've got 30, I think, 80ml baits, bottom baits, going to be hardened. And then we made some barrels as well. So there's about 28 of those. So very important, I just want to show you the boiling um, and just show you what weigh gel does to a base mix. So, time to get the pan on. Right, shrink down here so we can get in view. I'm going to put the barrels in first, no more than a minute and a half. So, set the timer. Drop them in. Right, that wasn't very successful. Um, I was just trying to show you how short a time that you can actually get away with boiling your hook baits if you've put a, a little bit of uh, weigh gel in. But um, the steam kept steaming up both lenses on both cameras, so uh, we'll see how we can fix it in the edit. <laughs> right, all done. Um, not really a successful video of the boiling procedure but already I mean these have just cooled they're still quite damp but already I can feel I mean the barrels I did first and they're really really hard so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking them in the house um, giving them a little dry out and see where we go from there because technically these round ones, I do have some plans um, to use them in another video where we're going to make some other special little hook baits that I've used in the past and was quite successful with. Um, but that's for a future video. Anyway, dead easy really. Bit of weir gel, 5 grams in about 120 grams, 100, 120 grams. Of base mix obviously depend on how hard you want them how hard you want to seal them up if you went 10 grams these things would be like little marbles already so amazing stuff really for what it is um, but that's definitely something that I would be taking to France if I was going on a French trip or something like that uh, if I knew what bait I mean there's not many manufacturers make hardened hook baits um, but um, it's definitely something that I would be looking to make myself if I was going to France, um, especially in some bigger sizes, maybe 20 mil. Obviously, a, a crane nibbling on that for you know 20, 22, 24 mil boilie um, will certainly take some eating. Um, and obviously, last year, at least hopefully, last year, a few hours into the night, if you get it done by the craze. Anyway, I've been Martin. Um, like, share, subscribe. Um, thank you to all the subscribers and the questions. Hopefully, I did answer some on the eggs. Hopefully, I answered one on the barrels. So, about 11.4. There's my phone. Catch you on the next one. Ta da!